What's up, everybody? Boston Toys here. Today we'll be reviewing Studio Series number 75, Jolt. Now, first, before we take a look at this figure, we're going to take a look at the packaging included. Raise the camera up a bit. So, looking here, we have some really nice artwork of Jolt. Studio Series Jolt Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen, the movie he's from. Really nice box art, more of that imagery of Jolt. On the back, you've got more Jolt. 23 steps, really weird weapon storage, but we'll get into that later. Number 75, Jolt, more artwork there. On the back of the box, on the top of the box. Weird thing is this is actually off-center. Um, I guess it just misprinted. But, yeah, so pretty weird. But that is the box. Now, moving right along, here we have Jolt in his vehicle mode. And I really dig this vehicle mode. I don't know what it is about it, but it's so compact. This, please tab in, please tab in. It depends on, I don't know why, but it just picks and chooses when it wants to tab in, depending on something I don't know yet. But that just is slightly annoying, but for the most part, it's not noticeable. He is a Chevy Volt. He's got some nice paintwork, a bunch of transparent plastic right here and here. And from, I don't know what if it's painted. I know this is painted. And the color matching is pretty spot on with the paint. Only noticeable depending on where you have it. Let me move my light around. So, so other than that, it's pretty nice. Um, Focus camera. If you notice right here, camera, camera. Oh, ring light. Okay, so if you notice right there, there's a small crack right there, and that happened while I was trying to pe pe peg um, English, I swear I speak it, um, pe peg these two tabs in, and it just didn't happen, and that actually ended up cracking, which is kind of unfortunate. It's barely noticeable, but it is something to mention. These are stupidly hard to tab in on my copy. I don't know if that's an issue on everyone's, but I do have know there's an issue that everyone has. Um, you can actually see the head right there. It's right there. You can, can't see through the windshield because his legs are blocking the way, but it's there. So moving right along to his accessories. As far as accessories go, he just has these two whips that, that are flexible, but they're, they're not posable. They're not malleable or at least supposed to. So you just have them straight. And what you can do is tab them in right here. Get everything nice and close in. So tab them in right here. And right here. And there is your weapon storage. <laughs> And it looks sort of sensible, but it still looks goofy. Um, it looks, it add a couple of machine guns on here, and you have a vehicle from Twisted Metal. So there's that. You just remove these. But as far as the transformation goes, you want to flip this up. They'll separate on their own and just leave them like that. You're going to split the tab right around here and it should also start from tabbing and there you have this you want to split right here move this out of the way so you have some rooms to operate extend the legs flip up the tires rotate this and not a lot of things actually tab in in robot mode which is astounding because it's kind of concerning dude so 
here he has it. Oh, that's weird. Um, so you want to untab that. Also, the issue that I know everyone has is if you look right there, there's um, a tab missing. And at first it was a stretch mark, and I've MGO actually um, also notices this. So it was also an issue on here. Um, I recommend just cutting it off. I didn't, but because I hoped it wouldn't happen to my copy. I hope it was like a, your copy may vary. And it is a thing that happened to me. I recommend cutting it. Maybe that'll make it look better. But yeah, um, I can't see any way around that because that um, tab was stupid difficult to actually get into place in vehicle mode and then stupid difficult to actually remove. So you want to flip out this until the details um, actually showing. Come back here, split the car section in half, and then you'll have this. And this is where the crack actually happened. You see there's two pegs right here, two slots right here. And what you're wanting to do is, okay, it wants to do it for me on camera. Um, you're supposed to attach those two, and they'll stay. And um, you're going to want to flip this and this, and you're gonna want to, it'll thoop into place. It's not loud, but it is a thing that happens. And you're gonna want to put that there and that there to give him that look. I forgot size comparisons in vehicle mode. Oh well. <laughs> ah, I'll do that at the end of the video, okay. It means I have to transform them back to robot mode. But oh well. <laughs> So here we have Studio Series 75 Jolt in his robot mode. And where do I begin? I love this robot mode. It's definitely a shell former. Definitely. This does not fold in anymore. That is not. This is. That right there is it. It doesn't fold up more, so you just have like weird high thigh things. It is on a ball joint, so you can get some movement out of it, but we'll talk more about that in a second. Um, this does not tab into place, so you kind of just have unintentional ab crunch, which I guess is nice. Um, yeah, so these don't tab into place. <laughs> this is posable to your heart's content, so does this. Um, <laughs> Nothing really tabs in except for this backpack piece. And I don't know, I don't like that. Because this is already looser than I would like. And it's only going to get looser because it's a friction thing. And you can see the pin there. So that's unfortunate. Um, appearance wise, he does look good. I will give him that. He looks great. Um, they actually mixed in some transparent plastic on the um, legs. And there's actually detail underneath that. Let me see if I can't get my camera to focus. Don't focus on his hand. There's a little bit of detail under that tra dark transparent plastic, and I like that. You got some faux wheels at the knees, which is hilarious because they're smaller than the actual wheels. So he's supposed to be bigger, <laughs> which is crazy to me. Um... For size comparisons, let me transform everything again. Alrighty. Here he is next to a 2010 Deluxe. Let me raise the camera up a bit. And the size difference is actually really considerable. Alright. Here he is to Studio Series 49 Bumblebee. And that actually looks pretty good. Here he is to Can't Stand to Miss Prime. And oh, I mean, this actually makes me want to buy more Studio Series Deluxes and Voyagers. Just seeing them stand together like this. Come on, man! Don't don't do this to me. Because this looks great.
That was annoying. <laughs> so I really dig these three, and it looks really nice next to them. Um, I don't actually have too many movie Autobots. Let's see if I can't throw in a landmine and see how he looks together. So out of place. Yeah, no, that sticks out like a sore thumb. Yeah, I really dig these figures. They look really nice together. Um, I'd like to get a better version of Optimus because this one makes him look wide and dead. And I don't like this one. I don't like that. But other than that, it's a great figure. <laughs> so now to his previously mentioned weapons. So they have a little peg right here that's supposed to attach to his arm. Now you might look and be like, there's no peg here. Well, young grasshopper, here's the thing. You remove his thumb, do not lose that because <laughs> that will that will annoy you for the rest of your life. And you just stick this in. And now he just has <laughs> because it can't move, it just makes it look like he has a super long thumb. And that's annoying. And some of these these are actually really tight. So here you have him dual whipping, I guess. Um, I, yeah, I mean, you can always just remake that scene. Hang on. Why does your bicep get tighter, Optimus? You can always just You can always just remake that scene. And that's a that's a thing you can do. And not how I'm gonna display him, but you can. And the last thing we gotta talk about before the video ends is the included backdrop of displayage. Okay, well. What the hell? <laughs> um, that's that's not the desert. <laughs> Where? <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Did they print the wrong backdrop? <laughs> There's no way, because that looks like DOTM or Mission City. What's going on here? No, that's definitely the Dark of the Moon backdrop, because I recognize that bridge. What? Okay, I didn't actually look at the backdrop, but... Uh, now, I'm no expert, but... I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Egypt. I I'm fairly certain that's supposed to be Egypt. That's not, that's not even the wrong scene. That's the wrong movie, and that's <laughs> <laughs> that's actually funny. And this is real. This is an official. This is official. <laughs> it's even the correct numbering. So. <laughs> So, somebody either effed up the designers or something. <laughs> That's hilarious. And I've decided I'm not going to do a vehicle mode display. I'm just going to transform these two and show you, transform Bumblebee and him and just show you how they look together real quick because that's really the money shot right there. Now, here's a money shot for you. <laughs> That looks really nice, and they scale really great with each other. This backdrop is hilarious to me, and that that will forever be funny. Uh, I'm going to tweet about this. 
All right, so I'll see you all in the next video. The reason I haven't been uploading is because work schedules and everything's changed. I'm working at Wendy's and like people have to sleep during the day because of night shift. So I'm also.